Hi, beautiful people. I am at my hotel room. Welcome to Lowe's World. I'm somewhere in the UK where your guess is as good as mine. I've had the privilege of being on tour now for uh, traveling maybe the last, I believe, six years. So um, I wanted to share with you 10 things that are on my list that I have to have when I travel the road. And this is to anybody that's a traveling performer. Um, these things help a lot. The very first time we came to London, I assume this is a true story because it was so hot in los angeles i assumed it was hot in london <laughs> so i got off that plane i only had a sweater and i was freezing luckily we were staying next to a mall i ran over to the mall and bought a jacket but lesson learned um it's just important to be um as prepared as you can so Let's dip, dive, snuggle, tickle into it, okay? Here are my 10 things that are my must-haves on tour. The very first one. The very first one. I need a hard pillow. And this one is firm. I need something firm underneath my spinal cord. Listen, look at this shit here. Now this is what they generally give at hotels. See this flaccid foolishness? This is the stuff that when you put your head on it, your head just sinks directly into the sunken place. I think these pillows is where, um, what's his name, got the idea to write Get Out. Speaking of Get Out. So a hard pillow, I've learned to travel with that because that just makes life so much easier because I rest so much better on those. I'm six foot four and I need the support when I sleep on those really soft, invisible pillows. I get two days before my entire back goes out of whack. So I travel with the hard pillow. That helps me. Number two, I have a scarf. This is actually a scarf. It's actually a two-way scarf. I also use it as a pillow, sometimes on flights. Um, but I travel with the scarf. I always run cold. Um, airports, airplanes, tour buses, hotels, um, all those sort of, all oh, the venues we go to are generally pretty cold. So I like to have a scarf with me because same thing, my body's pretty, uh, tricky um if i get super cold everything else kind of runs amok so i travel with my scarf whatever that thing is for you whatever the scarf is for you that helps make sure you regulate your body temperature because once you're on the road your job is to stay healthy so that you can do your job and especially in these rona streets we need all the help all the help we can get number three this water bottle Starbucks cup. Um, I have a bunch of changeable um, straws. Is changeable a word? It is now. And I travel with this because I prefer to drink water out of a straw because it hydrates my body and my voice differently. You do what works for you. I've been figuring out what works for me and that is the name of the game. You have to do whatever you have to do to keep your body um, in go and go tip top shape. So I have these generally every day, I start my day off by drinking three of these and then all day long when we're at the show, when we're at rehearsal, when we're on route, um, um, I'm sipping from that very cup. Four, one, two, three, four. Let me get it. Nighttime sleep aid, fall asleep fast, non-habit forming within a direction say take every night. And it's like, okay, well, if it's not habit forming, then why do I need to take, okay. Um, this is very, very helpful just to rest, just to sleep, to kind of calm my body out so that I can get sleep, because sleep is incredibly important um, in these touring streets. That is number four. One, two, three, four, five. The things I need to take care of my skin, which is in here. These are daily vitamins I take every day. I don't know why I needed to say daily vitamins I take as the days pass daily. Um, and these are the different products I oscillate uh, in my hair. Um, 
I didn't show you what those are because I'm actually planning on doing a video of what my skin, hair, and teeth and all of that stuff, what all of that looks like for me. So um, comment below if there's something specifically you want to see, but that is coming. So that's number five. Ugh. Ugh. Number six. Number six is jewelry. Um, back in the day, I used to only wear jewelry because I was so self-conscious about the fact that my arms are so long and my fingers are so long. So I only wore them just to kind of hide that. But yeah, now I just roll with them watches, bracelets, rings, things of that nature. I always travel with those because depending on my outfit, that's a part of the look. And when you feel good in your skin, when you feel good in your clothes, you can walk out into the world and be your best, um, I've found. Have you ever had that? Are my any fellow, fellow performers like that? Tia Simone, incredible vocalistic diva, Tia Simone, um, who, if you've followed me, she's done some of my live videos with, but we also toured with Andy Grammer together. Um, we used to talk about that. Like, if you have some show dates where you're wearing some clothes that you just don't feel comfortable in, it kind of just, like it stays in your head because you're like, I don't feel good. So you're thinking about that and you're not thinking about my words, my choreography, what's happening in the show, how I can connect with the audience better. Uh, so I think it's important to make sure that all of that is fine. Okay, let's go to seven. I always travel with a bunch of hats to the back, hats to the back. And I like to wear like beanies because my head is already big. I don't need any sort of hardware to make <laughs> make stuff more difficult. I like a lot of hats um, in general. I think I always joke and say my hair is a big part of my personality. At the same time, I don't always want it in my face. And sometimes like today, we're on the road and today is my day off. So I give my hair a day off. It's like, okay, cool, you've been great. You've been luscious, you've been succulent, you've made me, your follicles, your scalp, and our ancestors proud. Go ahead and take a nap. Wait for it. It's my sunglasses. Ooh. Meow. Sometimes it's just an accessory, sometimes it's just necessary because, um, the sun, you know, because he shines. He shines bright. Ha, 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 yes. So I always like to have the sunglasses with me for cases of emergency or black magic. <laughs> <laughs> that brings us to number nine. I never travel without bringing swim trunks. Just playing. These are my swim trunks. <laughs> I never uh, travel without bringing those because you don't know. You don't know. Like sometimes there might be a pool situation, a jacuzzi situation, somebody's whirlpool, a hot tub, or something. So you always want to have that. Uh, and it's all, you know, it's lightweight. It's easy to just drop in your bag and forget it and know that it's there if you need it. And now it is time for number 10. Bam! I am one of the proud few last people on earth that have an iPod. I have so much music, it doesn't fit on my phone. With this, I can listen to music, I can watch videos. Um, yeah, I can't really rock with too much Spotify and things of that nature because so much of the music I listen to is rehearsal tracks for work or music that I'm writing, music that I'm learning, music I'm workshopping. So none of that is on Spotify. And I don't think they still pay an artist enough anyway. We'll do another video about that later. Was that it? No. Oh. Travel with a couple of packets of instant oatmeal. Because say you sleep through breakfast, you don't feel like hitting the streets trying to find something. Maybe they may not. Some areas don't have like Uber Eats and all of those things. They don't have that. So if you have a couple of instant pack of oatmeal, most rooms have like the coffee machine and the teacup and stuff. All you need to do is heat up the water, open up your little packet, stir it up, stir it up, 
Star it up, star it up. Star it up, star it up. And you have breakfast and you're sad. And you know, oatmeal is filling and it's healthy. So that's a good thing. The other thing I do wanna say, because I do travel with these as well, and you've seen them, I've used them here. Packing cubes. I have small ones, I have big ones. We got these when we did um, the Buble Australian New Zealand tour. So we have a set of those, but they make packing so much easier. The fact that you can just throw everything in these little packet cubes and then just toss the cubes in there and you know where everything is. Change the game. Um, last two low tips, if I may offer these to you, um, for my people in the States, TSA PreCheck, and, um, what's the other one called? Green Leafs? No. World Time? No. National Gotham? Um, International, um, what is it? Linda, um, y'all, this is embarrassing. What is that called? Global entry, fail. Yeah! So there's TSA pre-check, global entry, and clear. Those are ways that make it so much quicker to go through security, um, depending on where you're going and what the airports offer. But those save a lot of time. They save a lot of time at the airport. Um, you have to get an appointment. You have to show up on a specific date to make those things happen, but I think it's absolutely worth it because you can get to the airport and breeze right on through. Especially me. I am a person, if I'm going someplace, sometimes we'll do like um, private shows or we'll just do like something where we're going to leave on Wednesday, fly somewhere. We'll do a show on Thursday and fly home on Friday. Something real quick. If I'm traveling with just a carry-on bag... If my flight is boarding at 1045, I will not get to the airport until 1015. I can walk into the airport with my carry-on, breeze straight through security, and be at the gate before we're even boarding. It changes the game that much. Good to know. Write down in the comments below. What are your go-to items that you like to travel with? And also, I always want to hear what are the things you guys want to hear from me and what things you want to know about and um, how else I can use this crazy and amazing life I've been blessed to live to be of service and uh, to either give advice or to be a resource, a support, whatever that is I can be for you. Please let me know. Um, I am so grateful for you all for watching this video. I hope you had fun hanging out with me. There's so much more good stuff coming, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the road soon. Love you with all my hearts. Take good care. Be good to yourself in word, thought, and deed, specifically thoughts. Be good to yourself in your thoughts. Love you, fam. Bye. See you next time.